So we're going to do some more computing of areas here. And remember that areas under the normal curve correspond to probabilities, which are also proportions of the data. So in example five, we want to find the probability that a random z value is between negative 1.33 and 0. So uh, 0 is in the middle of the distribution, negative 1, negative 2, so negative 1.33 about right here. Uh, so we want uh, this area right here. And so let's go to the calculator. Uh, we want to go to the distribution menu again, second variables. Go to normal CDF. And then we want uh, our lower bound is negative 1.33. And then our upper bound of 0. Come down and paste that and enter 0 0.4082. So this is normal CDF. And then we did negative 1.33 to 0. That's lower bound, upper bound. And we got 4082. And that is also that area. So probability that z is in this range is 0 0.4082. That's also 40.82% of the area and 40.82% of the data in proportion. Uh, next, we want to compute the probability that a random z score would be between negative 1.73 and positive 2.15. So z equals 0 in the middle. Uh, negative 1, negative 2, so negative 1.73 be approximately right there. Uh, Member z-scores run from negative 3 to positive 3 is most of the data. Uh, z is 1, z is 2, a little bit past 2, about right there, 2.15. So now we want that area. So we're going to use normal CDF again. And our lower cutoff is going to be the negative 1.73, the upper 2.15, and by default mean and standard deviation are 0 and 1. So let's go ahead to second variables, normal CDF. And we want negative 1.73. And then our upper, 2.15. We can paste that. 0.9424. So the area in between those values is 0.9424. That's also the probability that a random z value would be between a z score of negative 1.73 and 2.15. And that also means that 94% of the data will be contained uh, between those uh, two z values if we generated z scores for all the data. And then last example, uh, compute the area between uh, z is 0.64 and 1.79. Um, that can also be written as the probability that uh, 0.64 is less than z is less than 1.79. So area corresponds to probability, which is proportion of the data. This is also normal CDF. And our lower cutoff, 0.64 and our upper cutoff, 1.97. Now let's go ahead and enter that in. And you should double check to see that you're getting the same answers as me. So second variables, normal CDF. Uh, we've got uh, 0.64, enter, and then 1.97. And we will arrow down and paste it and enter again. 
Two, three, six, six, six. So two, three, six, seven. Oh, we forgot to plot that. Uh, so 0.64 is equal zero is here. One would be right here. 0.64 oh, about right here. And then 1.97 is equals two right here. 1.97 oh, approximately right there. So we are finding that area right there. And so the 0.2367, that's equal to the yellow area. And that's also the proportion of data uh, that's between those two z-scores.